YouTube, this is Kakas Naga with a new video on the Roomba, the iRobot Roomba. Um, <clears throat> as you saw, the, the side motor isn't turning, so we're going to take it apart and see what's going on. So this is the side brush motor. Um, <clears throat> in order to get it out, we've got to remove this, this plate here. There are four screws. And uh, but before we take the plate off, we got to get this little brush off. The motor is under the, the plate. So there's the brush. Let's keep it aside. Now these four screws don't come off completely. They just kind of stay in the in the plate so that's that and uh, here is the the side motor let me get a close up of that so there are two screws, one here and one here, that'll get the, the side motor out. And again, these screws don't come out completely, they stay in the body of the, of the motor. <coughs> So this is the side motor. Um, you could in theory just replace this. It's about $25 on eBay. Um, there's a link in my video description below for the motor if you do ch choose to replace the entire motor. Um, but um, most times, nine times out of 10, the reason why this motor doesn't turn is because the gear in here, the plastic gear in here is stripped and uh, you could just replace that only and uh, for less than five bucks you could get this motor up and running again and that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, <clears throat> the, the gears are also available on eBay. I'm going to have a link in the description for that too. Um, I think you can get a, a pair of them for uh, for about five bucks, um, very inexpensive, and uh, it sure beats uh, replacing the entire motor for twenty five dollars. If you could just get a couple of uh, gears and and replace them down the road again when the, the the plastic gear strips off again. So in here there is a unusual. Um, screw head it's really a it's more like a triangle and it uh, the regular Phillips head is not going to work on that so but uh, I'm gonna try it with a kitchen knife a regular old kitchen knife and uh, see if it works Okay, so it is turning. It's really not held very tightly, so let's get that off. Side. Okay, gotta clean up this crud here. That's one of the gears. But this gear doesn't usually give out. It's this gear that does. 
And as you can see, yeah, so you can see here, these teeth are missing here. Multiple teeth are missing here and here too. So, uh, very inexpensive gear and it's usually these teeth that uh, go out. So replacing that should take care of the problem and uh, again there is a link in my description below for where to get this, this uh, little gear. So this is the replacement gear, it comes uh, two in a packet. Um, this is the the broken one and this is the main main gear so I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit it's got a lot of crud on it There's some old grease on this I'm going to just wipe away and apply some new grease. Now I happen to have some lithium grease. Um, lithium grease is good. Um, silic silicone grease will also be fine um, whatever you have just kind of be liberal with that you get one of these replacement uh, gears I think it goes in this way there it goes put some more grease on it some more of the grease on it and that should take care of business so now let's put this back together
this back on. That's it. Put the motor back down into the cavity. Now put the bottom cover back on. And the, the brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes. There you have it folks, iRobot Roomba side motor fixed, $5, thanks for watching.